Hi everyone, I'm back again uh, with another little order from May Paper Co. I thought I would just show you what I picked up. Um, you know I got some frosted dividers a little while back and so I thought I would just get another couple of things that I thought I needed. Of course we all need many many things, don't we? Let's take this tissue paper out, super stylish. Um, as last time, it came, the order came with these two little freebies, a memo card with some blank lines on the back, and then the little make your own magic card, which I have in my, in my planner, and it has um, her details on the back, so this is her business card. So, what I got, um, what I mainly wanted to get were these, um, tab labels. So I'll just open this out. For best results, apply your Maypaper Co labels with tweezers to avoid fingerprint marks. That is excellent advice. Thank you, May. I appreciate that. So what I got were these really lovely silver foiled um, labels for my frosted dividers. So inside of my new Filofax, I have May's frosted dividers and so I wanted to get labels for um, along here so that I can separate my sections. So um, she does eight custom words and she does some um, kind of standard ones but I wanted a couple of different words that weren't there so um, I got these cu custom ones. And I didn't realise there would be two of everything, so that's very nice. So I've got monthly, weekly, goals, projects, notes, today, and calendar, and content. Those are my eight words. And there are six dividers. That's good. That's exactly what I wanted. And the foil is fabulous. So that's very, very nice. I also got one of her frosted dashboards as well. I'll take it out. This is called the Frosted Page Lifter PVC Dashboard Protector um, and it uh, is exactly what it says it is. You can hear that it's um, quite sturdy uh, and it's just a frosted, um, I wanted a page lifter for the back so that is perfect. I also got her lined paper, just printed lined paper. Um, I just wanted some for the notes section and I wanted to also just try out her paper. I haven't tried it before. So I will actually take this out and have a little feel. Oh yes, very nice. Um, so I think maybe this is 100 GSM from memory. I actually don't remember and it doesn't say on the uh, little invoice here. So, but um, it is a, just a pack of the printed line paper, which I think is 20 pages from memory. Um, what I love is that the holes are punched quite close to the edge of the page, which I know is pretty normal, but when I do it myself, I end up at a different spot. And then on the edge of the planner, um, all the pages are all different. <laughs> it drives me crazy. So um, if I get it done properly, then I find that it's super, super neat, which makes me happy. Okay, and what I also got was the printed Hobo Weeks inspired insert. So, let's have a look at this. I'll just maybe zoom you in a little. You can see here it's a grid page and it has January through December across the top. Um, I'll bring that in a bit closer just to show you actually. So, that's the months at the top there. And then the spread itself is um, a weekly agenda, Monday through Sunday, and then the grid page on the side here. So you know I do my weekly setup in the you know kind of Erin Condren style format. I'll just show you just in case you don't know. Ah, right, this is what's happening. I've got monthly, weekly, okay, cool. <laughs> then that makes sense. Why didn't I look in here? Um, so here's my weekly spread and it's kind of um, just the big things that are happening and then the to-dos for the week as well. So that's what I have in there but what I wanted was somewhere that I could kind of roughly just 
map out what meetings I had for the week and then have just somewhere as like a catch-all place to just put notes because and sort of this context to the notes because sometimes I just have an A5 notebook at work that I just scribble all my notes in and I can't often find kind of what it goes with I, I get I get a bit lost um, and without something digital to search with it makes it quite difficult so I thought if I had this layout where I have the meetings listed on this side or whatever it is that I'm working on and then some notes on here I thought that might help me so I'm super keen to give it a try so I think I have um, maybe 10 weeks here one two three four Maybe 20 weeks actually, it might be 20 pages, which is 40 each side, sort of. So that's that. So let's come back to these just to remind us of myself. Um, in my planner, I have monthly, weekly goals, projects, notes, and content. Yes, monthly one, two, three four five six that's right and then I have today and calendar as spares I got today to kind of make a today marker and um, calendar I just got as an extra one just in case I might use that um, it wasn't really what I um, was planning to use as part of these six dividers so I think that's what I've got for now anyway and um, I will put that together and see how it looks so that's it that's my little order from May Paper Co. Uh, very quick one today. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll be back very, very soon with some more planner videos for you. Alright guys, see you soon. Bye.